chosen praise the lord hallelujah my name is sister juliana okafo formerly living live at 131 lawansin road but now i live at number 64 mosbao okota here chosen praise the lord hallelujah i want to render a song that followed that back up my testimony chosen praise the lord Hallelujah. Because you live, I confess tomorrow. Because you live, oh, dear is God. Because I know he was my future. Because I live, I live in joy. Because you live. Because you live, I face all my challenges, daddy. Because you live, oh, there is God. Because I know He was my future. I live the day, I live in joy. Because you live, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brethren are titular too. And on it, you understand my testimony. Shows him praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. I started this ministry from the other side. And now I still a chosen. And I must remain a chosen. Shows him praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've given this testimony for my br the branches in the village. But God said that this is headquarter testimony. It started in this headquarter. And he ended up in this headquarter. Shows him praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. I, Juliana Oka, for standing here this morning. To appreciate this very God. Who have delivered my daughter. For seven years epilepsy. Shows him praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. This matter, this epilepsy, that's what I said, it needed to understand the testimony. It happened that this, my daughter, when we came back from, we did 2013, we went to acquire a place for us to get our building. And after we did crusade, we went to my, dad, my husband's village and we requested for that. And it seemed as if that uh, is something that cannot be done. And my senior, my husband's senior brother was asking my husband, so you don't get money? You don't get money? My husband said, why are you asking? Does it mean that I will not get money to build house? So after that, we thought it was a joke. Then when we came back from that 2013, which I have shared the testimony, on that 2013, my daughter was admitted in loot and he was in oxygen for five days. He was in coma for five days. After that five days, he, 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 he gained consciousness. And when we came, I thought that, I don't know that at the beginning of the journey. And my daughter started having epilepsy. That if this thing now happened, we must rush her to hospital before she could be able to... They admit her in choosing hospitals several occasions, in many hospitals. At the time, he was, he was in press then. He was in youth choir. But he could not be able to push up all these things because of that problem. And I take him. I remember one day, he said, Mommy, I am tired of this life. Why not, this, why not me die? I said, you will not die. All I know is the God of choosing. As long as Jesus is alive, you will, you will not die. But you will live to give testimony of your life. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this continue. As I, this thing happened. We visited, we ensured our daddy in the Lord, our G who prayed for her, two, three consecutive times. And after that prayer, it will seem as if the devil want me to doubt. But when it happened, I will tell the devil, I said, my pastor have prayed. All I know is that my pastor have prayed. Devil, all I know is that my pastor have prayed. So from that 2013, this case ended up 2020. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. And before this thing uh, came to pass, it took away everything I have worked for life. 
I own school at uh, Orile by Alafia Street. Many of you know me. I own school at Ijecha. But this case carried all, all of them and crowned it all. At that 2020, I lost my, Lord, my last daughter. As if that one would not be enough. But I still hold my faith. But look at me here now, standing to testify that that my daughter, whom the devil hold for seven good years, the matter is over. She is free since 2020. Hey. And now she has gained admission. Clap your Choosing hands on the God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. And the, in not gaining admission, she studied men's search. He said, Mommy, because what I suffer in life, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor to others. Hmm. And then when we are talking about who am I? To my daughter to be a doctor to study doctor in her in the university where am i going to get the money but this very god have made it to be possible Amen. she has gained admission studying message my last daughter again admission studying mass communication it's only this very god the god can of do this. go praise the lord clap your hands on the god of the chosen i still want to appreciate this very god because when this thing now was happening, I prayed. And so I prayed. Prayer become my food. Tears become my food. But I hold this God. But the time came after my prayer. God said that you are the problem of your, you are the, the cause of your problem. I said, how am I the cause of my problem? He said, remember that the people that used to give your clothes, and when I know that the only person I used to give my clothes is that my, my husband's senior brother, the one that senior my brother that read, I love the wife so much. Anytime I'm traveling, I must get a clothes for her. And I noticed that the minute I got home, this woman will make sure that she took one of my clothes. Then that day happened that he, 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 would, he would take my clothes, I would not call it anything. But when this thing happened to me, I came, I tell my husband, I said, you know this thing that we are passing through all these years? They use our clothes to go to champ, to do something. And for now, you will stop making any calls or giving them information about our life, anything. So from them, we cease to inform them anything. We ceased from them. From there, we became an enemy. That even when this, my daughter died 2020, they did not call us on phone. If I get them, they will not even greet. I don't think I don't that one is not because I have known. So one of the, the, the women there called me, say, Woman, uh, why am I not communicating with uh, uh, a I say people will not understand. This is spiritual matter. And I narrated it to them. They say, Okay, no, it's spiritual. To cut it all short. I will, I've been in the village since uh, August this last year. The last two months. It happened that all of them came for burial, all of them in the family. And this, my husband, brother's wife, called all of them. Told them that uh, they should call me, that I accused her of using my clothes to go to Sham. I did not, I did not go to her, but she was the one that called them, that they should call me, that I say I was accusing her that she used my clothes. So when they invited all of us, all the whole family, and they called me, and I told them that God, the God I serve cannot lie. Prophet did not tell me. But it was after my prayer, God said that they used my clothes to go to shrine. And I stand in that word. Then my husband's senior brother said that, Ah, Julie, you are right. What you said is truth. I just look at them. He said that each Joma called him. That was my husband's senior brother wife. He told them that there was a time they are looking for one rapper. This is uh, Azu. Azu. I bought that fish. I bought it for her. He said that she's looking for one. That her second wife, because the husband married two, took it and went somewhere and did something. So when they called her, they told her that, look at, look at her. But if that, they bring that cloth, that she will not use that cloth. And that's how that all of them knew. They now started begging me. They now started confessing. They said that, what are we going to do? Are we going to do inquiry about it? I said, I don't need anybody to tell me. God of chosen have given me the solution. Where am I going to get, do inquiry again? They said, okay, what are we going to do? I said, I'm not doing anything. 
I have forgiven all of you. But all I know is that my pastor in the village, he prayed. The day he was opening our house, he picked sand on the ground. He made a declaration. He said, anybody in this family, they will use anything that belongs to me as a chosen to do anything that the person will pay with the blood of the first son or the blood of the first daughter. And I stand in that prayer of my pastor. And I'm telling you people today, you people should hear me and hear me well. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. Any of you that use anything that belongs to my children, belong to me, and go to any shrine, you must pay with your first daughter and with your first son. And as my pastor say it, so shall it be. So that's the only answer I gave to them. Hmm. So I just, they, so they, they pleaded with me. So as I enter house, then my husband, uh, senior brother, wife, he came, he knelt down before me, he was crying, he was crying. He said, Julie, you know you love me, you have been doing everything for me, I don't know what happened. He confessed, he was crying. I said, it's your man, stand up. You know I love you as a sister, but for eight good years, seven good years, it makes me to be in wilderness experience. I lost all that I worked for life. Conclude it all. I lost my last daughter of 14 good years. He did not call me on phone. I have forgiven you. I hand everything to God. Let the God of chosen be the judge. And let the God of chosen who have dedicated me. He has blessed me. He has given me everything that money can be able to buy. Who am I to fight? God has fight my battle. And you are giving me victory. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to appreciate this very God. That after how many years of wilderness experience. If you get to my husband's place. Now. Our house is one of the best house. Clap your Chosen hands praise the Lord. Chosen praise the Lord. Amara nige meyo. Nige meyo kobi di muma. Di gola shuzin. Amara maru saki bunezia. O kwambu ike guru di bie. O minye ne jumaya jizo. Deni amara moe. Amara nige me kobi di muma. Amara nige me. Nige meyo kobi di muma. Clap I know he will do it. I know that the God of chosen will do it. For he is the only God that answer prayer. He never fell as many that trusted in him. He did not fail my pastor. And that is why he did not fail me. That is the word I used to encourage myself. I said, since I was born, and now I am getting old. And since I became a chosen. He never fail my dad. And he will never fail me. And today, God has never fail me. A borrower, a beggar, I'll become a giver to the glory of God. It's only this God can do that. So I don't know if a new member today, you never, it's only if a new member, be encouraged with my testimony. Because I was in that wilderness experience. I never fear this God of choosing. I never disappointed him. I never leave him. But that was the time I pray. I see if he never I still just I prayed. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love the I love this ministry. From this junction, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord over the life of our daddy, whom God have called, and I became a partaker of his, of his mercy. I become a partaker of his blessing. I became a partaker of the deliverance. I don't know how to appreciate this God in his behalf. Mm. I am not qualified to pray for him. But all I pray for him every day is that the anointing to carry on 10 billion souls shall be given unto him in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. And there's one word he told on the other side. He said, as many that will obey his word, he said he will usher us to heaven. He will lead us to heaven. And I stand in that word today. Daddy, by the grace of God, you have been there. But choosing once, we beckon on the glory of God. We beckon on the mercy of God upon your life. That all of us, on that very day, when we wait with Jesus Christ, all of us will be there to the glory of the, of, to the, glory of the name of the Father 
and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I cover the testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I love choosing ones. Chosen in first class. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him.